Hey there guys, my name is Bradrenaline, aka The Alolan Snorlax, and today I've got an update video to my battle tree guide. I know a lot of you were saying it's good and all, but can we get a team for singles? Some of you also mentioned what you've been using, we discussed a little bit in the comments or on Discord. So now I'm going to give you 14 Pokemon that I would either use or suggest to use. Two of these Pokemon are actually a combo that someone in the, the comments mentioned, but we'll get to that after these first six. So of course, the most popular one that I saw people using was Mimikyu. I don't actually use this myself, but a lot of you trade me like rejects and stuff. And I've got, I've got maybe half a box of five IV Mimikyu's now from trading rejects, but this is like a standard set. Someone in the comments said that it's better to run like HP and attack over speed because you're a lot more glass cannon and it's just more consistent this way. The moveset's gonna obviously be Swords Dance, um, two stab moves and then Shadow Sneak for the priority. You can get one sword stance off and be fine, or you can greed for the second one and you'll live the hit and then just shadow sneak everything to death. Pretty standard and it's probably what you'll lead off with to be honest. So next we've got Metagross. This is not the mega version because Metagross is pretty strong without it. His base stats are some of the best in the game, being a pseudo legendary from the third gen. I put a life orb on it, but it doesn't mean you have to. Of course, we are just going to run the uh, the max 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 attack max speed. We're going to get the dual stab in here again. We've got a priority move, and then we've got hammer arm for coverage. I mean, it's it's not necessary to have bullet punch, but some mons are faster. Metagross is only base seventy speed, and uh, yeah, there are things that are faster. I've got four EVs here. Let's just put them there. It doesn't really matter. Next, we've got Ash Greninja. I actually haven't transferred mine to the game yet. But a lot of people have been saying, just put just put choice specs on it and just use a stab move or a coverage move. And then you get battle bond and then everything else dies. Greninja was really good last gen. Like, because obviously the protein boost, it was basically like having stab. Then you could run life orb, expert, expert belt or a choice item. Everything just dies. Apparently this is just the destruction of battle tree. Outside of, you know, ultra beasts and megas. So definitely try this out if you do have Ash Greninja. The spread is standard. Moveset's pretty standard. And yeah. Timid or Modest, whichever floats your boat. Next we have Garchomp. I don't think it's the best this gen because he doesn't have access to like move tutor and stuff, but that doesn't stop him from just having so much raw damage. Of course, he's 130 base attack, just over 100 base speed. You could run a Choice Scarf, a Choice Band, a Life Orb, and just run these powerful moves. You could run Outrage over Dragon Claw if you wanted, but it's a breedable move. You can also run, um, what's the move called? Iron Head. Iron Head is also an egg move. But for the sake of a moveset, I just threw Stone Edge and Crunch on. But you can, of course, put Iron Head. Iron Head Crunch is probably better for coverage. And next we have my boy, Belly Drum Snorlax. You can run Citrus Berry or what's it called? Figgy Berry? Yeah, Figgy Berry. Because if you take a hit and then you, uh, you Belly Drum and then you get the Citrus Berry, you're not going to be too high health. I find this out a lot, but I don't know. I think Citrus is just more consistent. But uh, Figgy Berry will give you more health back. And then uh, I like to run Return and Facade in the Battle Tree because there is some bullshit that happens in the in the uh, Battle Tree. You will get burned, you will get poisoned, you will get paralyzed, you will get so many things happen to you. And Facade is just really nice insurance. Of course, if you're not bothered to run uh, Max Friendship on, um, on Return, then you could probably swap this out for hmm, let's have a look let's just find a physical move oh i just cancelled it there's another tip if you're on pokemon showdown which this is if you type in physical special or status or like any ability or something you can click this filter when you search it and then it will just show everything that you want so um now we'll click for power what do we want here we'll just find something that looks nice. he learns outrage that's new to me i'll probably run heavy slam Heavy Slam looks nice. Nice and consistent. That's what you want, really. You want some consistent... You want a consistent move pool, and you want something that can consistently sweep. Or, like, take two mons for the price of one, because you're ultimately going to win, because you supersede your opponent. So the last Pokemon is just another powerhouse. It is Hydreigon. I chose to run this with Choice Specs. You can run it with Life Orb. It gets a lot of coverage. 125 base special attack is just crazy. You... you Pair that with Choice Specs and something dives every time. You can run Timid or Modest. If you run Modest, then I'd probably suggest running a Choice Scarf because, again, base 98 speed, 
there are some things that are faster you know it's susceptible to like some priority moves like mega pincer for example which i think someone uses in the battle tree but i haven't done like super amounts to know every trainer's combo so there's the first six ideas we're now going to move on to i'll show you the combo first i'll show the comment on the screen uh someone said that they take huge power azumarill you know like a standard belly drum set i'd guess and then they have persimian so you would of course set up turn one maybe have again a figgy berry because you'll get hit have max attack or speed maybe maybe hp would be better just to tank the hit get the belly drum get the figgy berry health back and then aqua jet until you go down and then you go into persimian and then persimian of course has receiver and then you receive huge power so <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, I just choked. But yeah, Persimian has base 120 attack. Azumarill has base 50. But of course it has access to huge power. So, you do the math. That's just, that's crazy. 172 doubled. 344. 204. That is just so much damage. Like, that is so potent. And then you can just run, you know, like a moveset that has coverage. So... Close combat, return again is just, if you can be bothered with the friendship, you've got Earthquake. And I like to run Brutal Swing because you don't really have an answer to ghost types. And of course you want to hit things like Mimikyu. But of course there are other options. Now we're going to go into the two Tapus that I would run. I wouldn't really run Tapu Coco, I feel like it's too, um, I mentioned Glass Cannon a lot. It is too Glass Cannon, like it does a lot of damage. But you, you won for one quite a lot from when I used it. I didn't really like it. I wasn't a fan. I'm more of a fan of Tapu Bulu personally, like Choice Band, and then just run bulky HP and attack. And I'm also not a fan of running two grass moves, but you can still Horn Leech into Choice Band and get consistent recovery because you will be going second in a lot of cases. And you also live a lot of poison moves, which you wouldn't otherwise live with the HP investment. Or you could just go for the raw damage once again with wood hammer and then you have some coverage moves although i'm not a fan of either of them to be honest i'm not a fan of many of the tapu move pools but we will go into the tapu which i am mostly a fan of of its move pool just because it's so basic so tapu lele is probably the strongest in outright damage just because it has psychic it has psychic terrain and choice specs that combo is just, I think it's the highest base out of the, like, you know, everything combined. So that is just really strong. You can psychic a lot of things and then just, even if they're resisted, they go down. It's crazy. Anyone who uses this in, like, singles, like 6v6 singles, you get, like, two for one, like, almost every time. Like, there's hardly anything that can switch into Tapu Lele. It is insane. Now I'll show you two Mega Evolutions. So we've got Metagross. If you do manage to get... 60 i think it's 64 bp just get Met metagrossite because you can just reinvest that into the battle tree this thing is so strong like you thought metagross was strong check this so you go up 100 base stats i know it doesn't seem like much that you get only 10 in attack but you get 20 in defense and 20 in special defense and 40 in speed that 40 in speed makes up for not really ever running any uh speed evs so if we change that and then we put, let's just put, what was it? Meet your mash. Z no, yeah, Zen, bullet, hammer arm, fast physical, level 50. Or we could change from 178 and put that in HP and it's still 130 speed. And that outspeeds like a lot of things. So we could run adamant. I think adamant is better and of course you live a lot of things you outspeed a lot of things uninvested so this this thing is just <laughs> i say it a lot Th these things in this video are powerhouses these things just deck everything you can normally one shot the first thing if you think you're going down you get a bullet punch in unless they suck a punch of course because it has a higher priority bracket at least i think it does oh my god don't quote me on that please and then of course my favorite mega is Salamence. This is the one that I purchased and used myself. So Salamence site turns into uh, Aerialate. So your normal attacks turn into flying type moves. 
which gives him some pretty good coverage because of course with Dragon Claw he can't hit fairies but he can just stab return them with the mega stats and they're down so again we'll compare the uh, we'll compare the base stats this gets 100 base stats as well during mega evolution it gets 10 in attack it gets 50 defense 10 special defense which you know isn't isn't amazing but that 20 speed again so it's base 120 speed rather than base 110 of mega metagross so we'll just put in the move set again dragon dance oh that's dragon breath dragon dance dragon claw return and oh god earthquake yeah so change that to level 50 and then max speed and uh, max attack you could again run um run hp but again it's, it's what you want to do you know I, I just think they're they hit so hard anyway and they don't get outsped by too many things in the battle tree because I, I'm not even sure if they EV train. I know they're IV, like they're perfect IV. But if they EV train, then this is only really getting outsped by base 90 speeds that are maxed. So that's 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 not many Pokemon in Alola. I know they don't use all of the native Pokemon. They use like starters and stuff. But yeah, and now my fridge is like messing up and people are talking to me. <laughs> but now we will go into the last two Pokemon which are Ultra Beasts. So you can see them here, they are Kartana and Faramosa. Very strong, again, they just, they're so strong, but they're so frail. That's their only problem, they're so frail. They're fast, they're frail. 181 base attack. Like, that is crazy. I like to run Focus Sash on, on a Kartana. It just, it makes so much sense. Like, they just, like a gust, a gust could knock out Kartana. Like, <laughs> it's so frail. And then we've got some coverage. Of course, you run Double Stab, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Psycho Cut. You don't need a setup move because it's just... But I think it does get Soul Stance. Yeah, so it does get Soul Stance even if you did want to use it. So it's it's like... Yeah, if you want to greed for that, then you still have the Focus Sash. You're still faster than a lot of things. But you are weak to priority. A lot like Feromosa. Feromosa is very fast, very strong. But it doesn't have the best move pool. Like, everything runs these three moves. Like, these are standard. You run, like, a fighting-type move, a bug-type move, poison jab for tapus and stuff. And then it's just, like, empty slot. So you could run taunt. I think it gets rapid spin. Yeah, rapid spin. Toxic. It's kind of counterproductive. It gets rapid spin, protect. So it's kind of like a, a throw whatever you want on at the end. Choice band is going to knock out pretty much everything the typing is uh is very potent not much can live it other than uh like things like tapu lele so it's like you know for battle tree this is gonna work really well and there you go so there's 14 pokemon some of them i've used some of them are suggestions from other people you clever people of course i mainly do the double strat just because it's so consistent but these are some um, consistent strategies for singles. So hopefully you can get on with these. Hopefully you appreciate that I've taken some time just to wrap things up to get you single players for Battle Tree, I mean. Just to give you more ideas, give you a better chance to get BP. And yeah, that is going to be all the time we have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and maybe I will see you again soon.